Um, I hope my music isn't too loud, but I'm doing a chit chat video today and I'm just doing a tutorial on some look that I'm about to come up with because that's how I roll. So let's just get right into this look. This necklace is so pretty. Look at it. I love it. Shout out to Kelsey. Okay, so you guys need to let me know if you like um, chit chat videos better or just voiceovers. I feel like chit chat videos are better because I'm just sitting here talking to you guys and I end up talking about random things. Wow, this is really cute. I hope this music isn't distracting. I'm just kind of experimenting right now. Primer, Revlon Photo Ready. It's one of my favorites right now. It's, um, I use it on other people when I was when I do other people's makeup for like events. Putting this everywhere. It like fills pores a little bit and just gives a nice canvas for foundation. This is my song. Taking my CoverGirl at Lassie Fabulous. I've been going back to this. It's very good. And I'm using it with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I'm using like a pump for it to start with and maybe a little bit more. I'm put it on the cap because I don't want to get my hand dirty. Do, do, do. Funny how it seems like yesterday. I recall you were looking out of place. You were on the sandy tea. So sweet <coughs> with the mean streak. I don't know if it's just one camera, but it's like a little bit patchy because of the dry skin there and there's not really much I can do about it except for cake on more products. So don't mind that if you can see it even. Now that we have our foundation done, I'm going to take this headband off and actually hopefully have decent looking, super messy braids. Spotify ads. Yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows right now off camera. Okay, back with my eyebrows. That took longer than expected. But now going to conceal and I'm using my Mac Pro Longwear. I've gone back to this. Um, I mean, it's the best, like, ever. <laughs> and it's super filthy. filthy and it's... But now what I'm going to do is take a little bit and highlight my face with it. I'm more about the glow and rather than the highlight. Actually, I'm just going to powder everything. Screw it. Oh my god, I almost used like a bronzer blush thing under my eyes. That would have been bad. Okay. Bare Minerals Well Rested. Uh, I don't think I've ever said this, but my favorite brush for under eyes is Elf Blush Brush. I always use this and it's just perfect shape and it's super duper cheap. So I'm gonna prime with my absolute favorite thing to prime with. MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I feel like Nikki up in here. Oh my god, my nails actually look nice for once. They're freshly manicured. I forgot to powder my face. I'm a mess. Let's do that really quick. On top of this primer, I'm using my Via Bombshell Cosmetic Submissive Eye Base. We were victims. This is from my um, November Glam bag. It's not super pigmented, but it's alright. I haven't used a Lorac Pro, my Lorac Pro palette in a video yet, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take my MAC um, 224 and um, the color Sable this right here and I'm just gonna use that as my transition color usually I use taupe so I'm just gonna switch it up on myself I mean this is kind of a darker crease color but it's still being used oh I don't like this brush it's so scratchy but it's okay scratch that it's too scratchy I cannot use it <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to take my Morphe, I don't know what number it's going to say, but the fluffy brush. So I don't think I've really sat down and talked to you guys about like anything in a really long time. I know a lot of my viewers I like know personally, but um, I don't know. I feel like I need to catch you guys up on stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't really know anything. 
Um, because I post on there all the time. Anyway, moving on to the video. When a lady in a limousine drove my way, she said, Darling, be a dear. Haven't slept in a year. I need your help to make my neighbor's yappy dog disappear. For me. On to the lid with pewter, which is like a grayish brown right there. I'm just taking this on the outer and inner corners of the lid. Not like my tear duct, but like the outer half and the inner half staying on the actual eyelid. And now I'm going to take a smaller crease brush and just blend them through the crease. And I realize my brushes are super dirty. I probably should clean them. Okay, on the middle portion that we kind of left blank, I'm going to take Garnet, which is so gorgeous. I don't think I've ever used it. It's like a red, red, red brown. It's very shimmery. So I'm just going to throw that on the middle of my eyelid, like I just said. Now taking taking the brush that I used to um, blend, I mean to apply the outer inner color, I'm going to use that to blend these two colors together. You can re-intensify the outer inner parts if you need to. Now I'm just going to blend through the crease once again with a little bit of that pewter color on my brush. Now I'm going to take black and apply that to the outer V. I'm just kind of drawing it in and then I'm going to blend it on the other side of that brush, which is also from my recent uh, or maybe last month's glam bag. For the lower lash line, oh my god, my lighting is horrendous, but I'm going to take the same pewter color now with a little tiny bit of black hit in there and just all the way across. Well, like two thirds of the way across. And then connect it up. So we're just blending everything together and making it super smoky. For my inner corner highlights, I'm taking the color light pink and we're just gonna do it. I don't know how it's gonna exactly look, but, but I'm kind of like dragging it like pretty far. Okay, I just completely changed like um, how I'm how high my camera is. So you can, I'm just gonna show you how it looks so far. I don't know how well you can see it before, and I'm sorry. I'm just kind of experimenting with that. And this setup, here's what it looks like so far in that light pink in our corner highlight. I think it looks kind of cool. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to keep it matte because it looks pretty shimmery. I'm just taking cream, which is like the highlight shade. It's right here. I have kind of hooded eyes, so the, the colors kind of transfer onto the crease, but it's alright. We're working with it, and that's actually... Pretty much all for the um, shadow. We're gonna do a nude today. I'm just gonna go with my regular black liner because I don't have any colored ones that would look good. I'm sorry, I'm not talking to the eyeliner, it's just like I have to concentrate. But you've seen me do it like a thousand times. I'm just doing a wing. I think it kind of works. I'm just gonna do that one off camera because the style. Mm, just. Mm. Okay, so they're really thick, but I kind of dig it for this look. It just adds something, and I hope they're even. I'm gonna do my mascara and my lashes. Yeah, lashes for this look. I feel like, you know, this liner needs something to balance it out, right?
I'm not gonna curl my lashes. Okay, I'll curl them a little tiny bit. Bitch. This is like my freaking song, so I'm gonna jam out, sorry. I'm just gonna apply like a coat. I'm going to apply my false lashes. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes while that's like getting tacky. Lashes. Let's see if I can do this on camera without jamming out to the song too hard. And I'm gonna take the lash color to like kind of not curl my lashes but like combine the real and fake. So I did it. In all of us, the wizard that there is or was is ever gonna bring me. Well, I have the lashes on, and this is what the end result looks like. I'm gonna go back to my hula, and I'm just gonna look, I'm just gonna go to town. I'm just using the little contour brush because I really like how it makes my cheeks look. Wow, my hair is a mess. And if you give a damn, take me, baby. Kill it. Got some sculpted ass cheeks. And I'm gonna take my little brush. And just go under my chin. Just gonna give myself a little bit of a jawline because I do not have one. Come on, come on, come on. I'm terrible at contouring my nose, but I'm trying. I'm gonna like swirl all the colors together in my Fox in a Box from Hard Candy in the shade Hot Flash. I'm gonna swirl them all together like I just said that I was gonna do. Really light hand. Like a really light hand. Sorry that I'm not talking that much. I just like, I don't really know. I need have enough, something to talk about. And highlights is my favorite thing. I'm gonna go crazy with it. I've been using this in a really long time. My Naked Flush palette, I'm just taking the highlight from there because it's so pretty. I'm just gonna use my normal e.l.f. little angled blush brush. Get that glow on, girl. Literally, I love highlight. I'll wear it like every day if I could. Mm -hmm. The thing that Nikki taught me, put it on for your nose, like maybe a little ball part right here to give it like a buttony effect, and then the bridge, like the part that goes, dips in, just right there. And then a little bit on the upper lip. I'm even gonna take some of this onto the cheeks, because that's how much I love highlighter. Like a really light hand. Okay, we got our glow, and now we gotta lip it up. For this, I'm gonna give you a couple of options. I have a whole bunch I need to show you. I'm not even gonna line my lips for this. I'm just gonna use this NYX um, Creamy Matte Lip Stick in Copenhagen. 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 This is the first lip option. So I'm taking this like, it's, it's that Debbie something brand from IBS, I can't remember the brand name. I'm not gonna list the brand, like the um, 
products to use down below because I'm going to do these videos because I'm telling you them in the video, so it's just kind of redundant. On top, I'm using my Maybelline um, nude lipstick thing in the shade Nude Lust. It's from their nude collection. And this pink lip liner is just going to pull a little bit more pink into it. I'm going to put a little bit of this e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Baby Lips. This is not a liquid lipstick, it's the gloss. But it's just gonna add a lot of glossiness and shine. And that's the second lip, and I think I like this one better, honestly. I do love nudes and I do love darks, but this one does look pretty good. That is the finished look. I'm gonna do a final close up with the glowy skin. So we just got a dramatic wing going on. That's it for this look. Oh, we got Seasons of Love playing. It closes out, which is perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'll do more of these uh, tutorials if you want to see them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to come up with some looks for you guys. And, yeah, let me... Give me some palette recommendations. I'm going to market for, like, a new palette. Uh, any palette that you've been liking. I don't know. Just let me know. And, yeah. Should I do a BH Day and Night? Uh, Eyes in the 80s? The ones I have... I don't know, just let me know. Follow me on my social media websites because I post on those every day. And, well, Instagram at least. And if you want to catch up with my life, follow me on all those. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed once again. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And I have lipstick all over my hands as always.